and you're explaining, I, I know it's a 1987, it's from light intervention transformation that you're yeah. quoting. That's not that difficult, the concepts, if a good mathematician tells you that those concepts, but if you are not, because Lewin himself is not a good mathematician. And so some of the results he, he gave uh, uh, were given uh, in a quite the bad way on the formal side. And if you give them in a right formalization, so in a quite neat one, mm -hmm. no problem. But still, if you're not a mathematician, better if you don't deal that much with mathematics. That's my, my opinion. Or, or if you do, that you do just with things that you know that you can, you can deal very well and so you can teach. Because how can you teach something that, uh, in which you have not that much clarity? So just to say, Lewin is a good example of mathematics that can be misunderstood because th that book is incredibly good from the musical point of view and also for what uh, it, uh, it started about the algebraic representation of uh, transformation of musical elements in general, not only in languages. But still, if uh, a student opens a book of this, or also uh, uh, a high-level academic that has no big competencies in mathematics, uh, it can get to the to a bad result, to, the, to the another effect that uh, wanted. It can say it has no sense, uh, there's no reason, or whatever. So that's my my, my comment. It, it is it's hard for, uh, it, it is, is, it is tangible thing, you yeah, think. Very, very tangible. Uh -huh. And also there is, uh, there is not that big, but still there is uh, a good literature about uh, music and uh, <coughs> teaching, uh, teaching of music, pedagogy of music and mathematics. Also, I, I, I would suggest that every year there is the Bridge Association. There is this incredible conference uh, that's itinerary. Bridge is an association that is about just music, uh, art and mathematics. Mm -hmm. And that there are a lot, a lot uh, of uh, papers published uh, online as well. And a lot of them uh, are about uh, pedagogy. Pedagogy are at a very elementary level. And still, there is a big literature, so it's a, and, and it's a different problem. So if you're talking about uh, pedagogy, okay, so let's think about the problem of the interdisciplinarity, of the issue of interdisciplinarity between mathematics and art in general. And there is a big literature talking about this. And then there is literature about mathematics and music in pedagogy. And then we can choose what. So it's, uh, it's quite dangerous and still uh, open uh, issue and very and with quite a vast literature so also as myself i would uh, preparing something to show to the public would be quite uh, i would be careful you know, just, uh, before doing anything not to to be perceived as naive that's also the dangerous thing here that's my my personal and sincere comment mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, I have one rather question and uh, another is a guess. Uh, uh, the question would be that uh, mathematics could uh, be just used as an inspiration for a composer and then not to stick uh, orthodoxly to uh, the correct uh, math because if you have not a math uh, mathematics, then we will do it uh, uh, wrongly and so it, it end, ends up very badly. But to take uh, mathematics just as an inspirational tool for composers and then the field is again open also. That would be my question. What do you think about this? And the second, if there would be uh, instruments and uh, 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 interpreters who uh, 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 would be able to play in microtonal tuned uh, 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 instruments, then it would be much easier for, for composers just to take the in instruments and not to think too much about the mathematics, but to have this, these instruments and start to compose it. I can go and hear if I have fans with the flute, then I can start thinking about it musically. I must not bother about the ma mathematics behind it. And I think much of the young composers uh, will not become uh, ma ma mathematicians. 
Yes, I start with the second question. You were talking about mathematics and music. So if we don't want to teach mathematics, that's not what we're discussing about. Mm -hmm. So okay, uh, yes, you can do as you can teach harmony without passing through mathematics, as you can. Well, some basics, of course, should be provided, but, but not to get too deep into it. <laughs> okay, exactly. So yeah, yeah. it depends what we want to present. Exactly. Yeah. And about the mm -hmm. first question again, while. I'm teaching composition and I don't like to that much. The main problem is uh, to be careful not to be normative in what you teach. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay if it's okay if you just if you're just presenting the possibilities, mm -hmm. but then I would not spend a complete year teaching something that then can be perceived as the solution for an aesthetical problem. That's my problem, it's not the problem of a student of mine. So again, mm -hmm. why doing so? It's important that they know, a student uh, a younger know that, that there is this big knowledge, but then he has to decide that life is limited in time, mostly. Yeah. Too many possibilities. Yes, yeah. about art in general, because you can do whatever you like. You can, yes. if you wish, you can take LSD and compose. That's yeah. your approach. I don't care. Don't Every, don't anybody. Know, don't need any mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> or or, yeah, or not really. Why, why should we control what you're doing? That's what I do. So I, yeah. the other risk, that's exactly what I was talking about uh, when I was talking about the risk of using something that can be perceived as objective and prescriptive as mathematics. Because you say, ah, oh, now my music is good because I, I'm using mathematics. That's not true. Of course. Or, or he said, I never it. But if I don't want to give it to you, if you have it, OK, you can have your beliefs. But it's not something they want to, to indoctrinate. So again, still is a problem. And that's why I don't like teaching composition that much. I prefer to teach music theory. It's not, it's, possible. More secure, no? it's not possible to teach composition in that way. You uh, teach possibilities, and uh, composition must uh, composing must learn everybody uh, for, for. It's more the, myeotic. I don't know if this is right translation, but myeotic, Socratic. No. Okay. Yeah. But uh, only for some idea, can we understand this uh, mathematics of music uh, as some kind of applied? science actually because uh, we know a lot of this kind of applied mathematics we know for example uh, mathematics of building uh, we, we know we know mathematics of finance uh, financial and, yeah, and again, again this is the word science that they no, don't like science they don't yeah. like it because we, yeah. where, where is the experiment where is the truth we want to yeah. or the knowledge we, yeah. we want to show science, yeah. Yeah, okay so uh, we can from science from Music theory, but in composition again, there is discipline, no science. Discipline, okay, some some more domain or whatever. Oh, sorry, not science, but uh, it is the same as we see in in this building. We absolutely don't know about this mathematics. What are in this building? How, why this building is in this form? Why he, this is? So uh, so. Can we can we compare this in the same way? Maybe maybe we we can of course we can compose without any knowledge about this. We, 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 we can compose without brain also only yeah. only uh, uh, hand makes sense. I think we yeah. uh, not yet uh, can compare it uh, one by one because uh, the, um, the engineer he constructed this building here. He has to be. Uh, uh, challenge was very clear, so it, it, it has to build it, that it, 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 it's stable and will it fall down. Stay, of course. Of so, course. but of course, uh, we can compose pieces as we want, so there is no uh, no uh, standard we have to fulfill. We can uh, literally uh, compose pieces where the uh, roof is uh, falling down to our head. So maybe, maybe uh, this. Uh, Blackboard's piece is a little bit like the feeling your uh, roof will uh, fill, uh, fall down on your head because uh, because it violates between the real against the real uh, Renaissance music. And of course, so, in my opinion, my modest opinion, uh, a better knowledge of the structures and uh, of the elements of music doesn't necessarily mean that. Uh, 
you are able to compose better. Of course. So no. a, again, no. I, I don't know because I, I am that kind of composer that is also in a some way a musicologist. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe is the bad way to be. In fact, I'm not uh, in a great career. So I, 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 I'm, I'm a rule breaker. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's another way to approach this. Giving young composers models of composers who have used mathematics, for example, Zanakis, or Ligeti, or Stockhausen, or Messiaen, and show how these composers have used mathematical ideologies or principles as an impetus or impulse to create their own music. So we go not by the math to the music, but the music to the math. Yeah. Of course. The other, the other way around. It's so it's not, it's not really about here are you know, 4,000 different kinds of you know, tuning scales. Pick one and have fun mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. But rather, here's an interesting piece of music. Here's how it was constructed. Let's make an analysis to see how they talked to each other. Maybe the... Uh, of course, we have to. I think we have to, uh, we have to study both. On the one hand, we have to we, we have to study and to see what are the uh, something in a way. Uh, if we take this uh, microtonal music theory, like technical and theoretical uh, possibilities. So just like, uh, of course, it's uh, it's bad to uh, again uh, compare with the engineering or the or even uh, of course even even um, even artists they study geometry. So, but that, that doesn't mean that all uh, the um, uh, say you want to uh, take artworks only from uh, from classical geometry, and that is the one. And on the other side, uh, of course, uh, to observe uh, existing artworks and uh, and um, and. Uh, but I think uh, for composers, it's, uh, composers needs I think a lot of different inputs. So and. Uh, you are the filter in a certain way, and, but uh, but you have to find your own way how you filter it. And of course, if uh, some student says to me, of course, this all this thing is senseless, and thing, I don't want to do uh, and then I say, okay, it's your choice. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just that I explain, uh, explain uh, knowledge, what I have found, and what I think it uh, could be interesting, if it has a future or not, if you can do masterpieces or not, I don't know. Even I cannot, uh, I, I, I cannot say uh, my that uh, that uh, that uh, due to that that I use Poland piece, I have a uh, immediate uh, masterpiece. Uh, maybe not. The, uh, of course, to uh, to uh, the, the um, uh, probability to uh, to uh, create a masterpiece, of course. <laughs> It is very very small, and uh, maybe uh, it's more. Uh, it's uh, it's ninety or ninety five percent uh, prob uh, probability that I uh, compose uh, lots of good pieces. But this is uh, anyway uh, even I can. Uh, this is the same uh, is valid for using traditional scales and uh, other tools also, or even with um, electroacoustic uh, uh, creating um, tools. Same and can and uh, what uh, will be uh, another masterpiece? It's, it's not possible to uh, define it by uh, mathematics or by by uh, by uh, analytical models. Yes, another possible proof <coughs> could be on the other way. Usually, uh, our problems. A problem that uh, mathemati professional mathematics uh, has in the high school period uh, is to connect what they are teaching to other, mm -hmm. to other uh, methods. So sometimes uh, it seems quite abstract and pure. So a good idea from, uh, I'm, talking, I'm thinking now about uh, the pedagogy of mathematics, okay. would be offering exercises of uh, mathematical topics they will deal with uh, in the musical uh, domain. Mm -hmm. That is something that if you do something could be very useful and translated in any language. 
it doesn't matter what I noticed when I published something for professors of mathematics is that they wanted a lot of material. Because sometimes they're explaining something and then I want to offer you examples, but not the usual one of physics, for example. Yes, but from different but from so different it, it is actually the same point of view, but uh, Mark Lomber, who is uh, head of uh, this, some, some department in the Stalin University, uh, told that, okay, mathematics in some way is ready. Mm -hmm. it, it is him uh, sentence now, and and and, and the because uh, because it is ready in some some way. So uh, mat mathematicians and mathematics need all the time also for to exemplify uh, some theoretical things. Yeah? May, yeah. Maybe it, it 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 would be one practical. Uh, and in way you are doing something that uh, it's quite difficult to find uh, on the on the website or on market of pedagogy, mm -hmm. something that can uh, grow in a community, and, uh, and uh, there is some uh, interdisciplinarity, that's the most important uh, word here, also in the sense that then you can put uh, two levels uh, of, uh, of aims, there is the aim of the exemplification of a mathematical concept that can be, it's uh, fortified, mm -hmm. and then you have the musical aim to explain some side uh, of musical knowledge. In this way, it's also quite interesting to organize and uh, easy to organize because you follow the typical curriculums of high school, middle school, elementary, or whatever is the system here in Estonia. It's different in every country, but still there are some similarities. And working this way, you are doing something that it's quite uh, important. And still, you can start with the easiest examples, yes, yes, acoustics, uh, and then move into algebra, calculus, and, what, and find uh, different uh, ideas and solutions. This way, it's quite interesting. You can attract also thinkers and, uh, and theorists uh, like me, like Timon, or whatever, to write something. You can do something that uh, has some, uh, can be spent. Now I want my 50% on the <laughs> the values of the book, but yeah. it, it actually it was also my uh, my idea. So because uh, because I understand very well this problem when we take music. Okay, we m can now discuss what music is generally, but uh, when we take music, it's actually. Uh, and when we take some uh, okay goal to model something, how to model, for example, form of Beethoven Fifth Symphony mathematically? Okay, and, and we can take this, and if it's possible, we can take some statistical what, whatever uh, things. But, but every, it, it, every it is, is yeah, it, yeah, it, but it is quite uh, difficult to make this. And uh, for normal musicians who don't know about mathematics. Nothing on the no, no, not so much. Maybe it would be big uh, work actually to make this. Now, Kerry, uh, you can also talk about your. No, you tell some sometimes about your statistic. You uh, well, or yes. whatever. Yeah, a, yeah. Few, a few yeah. days ago, maybe some of you know him. Uh, he's actually a professor of with information theory. Jose Oliveira from Portugal. Oh, very nice. Yes, very well. Yeah, well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he sent me his article based on a paper he gave a few years ago in the Student Academy of Music, in which he analyzed the key relations of Beethoven's work using statistical models. And, and then he told me that you see that actually what I'm reading in theory books that uh, mostly secondary theme goes to the dominant, but according to my analysis, and he analyzed the middle period Beethoven and late, so that actually the situation is rather different. Um, uh, and uh, yes, this is, uh, but this is exactly that, uh, uh, I mean, actually, he's a mathematician, I mean, generally speaking, and also interested in music. And he just sees music as an opportunity to raise uh, interesting mathematical problem or statistical or whatever. I mean. Object, object of yes. our world. Yeah. 
so because in music there exist specific problems and, and, and quite many of them, I mean, if they are related to the structure, for example, can be formalized, which means that kind of statistical or mathematical analysis is possible. Well, that is something that is born here yeah. in Estonia, because of the uh, father of stenometry was uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the father of uh, Luthor's last Vincent. And uh, in part, we started stenometry in literature. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's the, the basic of any quantitative uh, method uh, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in art. So this is something that we, how can I say, mm -hmm. of, of, of your culture. Mm -hmm. But there is a big literature about these things as well as quantitative methods. So statistics applied to art. So it's quite yeah. Yeah. So, uh, when we talk now about, now about again about this, this kind of handbook or whatever, uh, I think uh, it must be some way quite open formed, not book, book in, uh, but uh, now we talk about digital thing, but can, can, can be quite open, open um, database or what, what, whatever. I agree. Right, yeah. But how to make, of course, I, I, it, it, would, it would be interesting to make this uh, not, not differently, as a bit differently, but make better as, uh, as these materials what are, and, and uh, still to be in some way to um, overview. Overview, overview, yeah, not, not, uh, not too specific, not too specific, but, uh, but uh, give overview and also a tool for teaching, for example, and, and also for tool for uh, musician professional and, and maybe also tool for some uh, mathematicians, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I must uh, look for a rather uh, compositional uh, way uh, or a, not how to say, uh, you, you can analyze music using mathematics, let's say examples where uh, or, or we can use mathematics to compose something. Of so oh, as, uh, what, what is your what what, what is your main uh, interest? I think rather composition, isn't it? My interest is to, uh, is composition more, but yeah. of course this kind of tool is possible as Kerry told now, and, and maybe you all speak mm -hmm. tomorrow about uh, how mathematics is used in yeah. some some way yeah, in music. So so it is also a tool for analysis. Yeah, yes. the border is, is, yeah. is blurred, so we can't uh, uh, draw a, a fixed line between these uh, four yeah, areas of form. It's not fixed line, of course. But, uh, it's open. But, yeah. but, but we can still uh, look, uh, look uh, from a quite clear position towards uh, music and mathematics, rather as a creative uh, approach or rather as a, uh, as a analytical uh, theoretizing uh, approach. Uh, and then the third way is to give a first overview, then we have to show uh, both of these ways, uh, mm -hmm. how it was used practically and how uh, we can use it to analyze uh, uh, things or how, what, what uh, does it mean uh, that music is physically uh, produced, etc. So that in some way we, we can drift into two, two basic stuff and in other way we are two Broad, uh, so this is a, uh, what, what you mentioned that it should be a, a kind of block like structure. That we, if you are interested in the moment in such things, then we build such blocks, uh, maybe rather pedagogical blocks, uh, like the digit uh, the diff uh, we have done uh, earlier. So that, that this is open, and if we think we could add some other blocks uh, from other perspectives, then we can uh, uh, enlarge the puzzle. So we don't have the whole picture. Uh, as in the normal puzzle, we would have the whole picture and put the pieces together that we can't do, but we, we, we create something which starts from somewhere with some uh, kind of perspective and then we see how it de develops, uh, how we develop and or what we see, what is needed, and then we can cross borders uh, all the time, but we, are, we, we have build, uh, building blocks for this, this uh, rather pedagogical uh, 
uh, I mean, uh, me, yeah. me. I mean, yeah, it, it would, uh, uh, how, uh, how smaller these, uh, these blocks are, the better, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. 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 They are more. Yeah. And uh, which have exercises, uh, examples like in the, uh, the, the ten show up to uh, principle uh, in this way. Yeah. Have you, uh, Giovanni, some kind of, you, you talked about this, um, how to exemplify mathematics in a musical way. Have you something in Italia, this Italian uh, school system, have you some, something, this kind of no. learning materials? No, I, I have something in Italian, I have, uh, I have published it, yes, I have my, uh, I was your, 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 uh, my, my papers. Yes, yeah. your papers, yeah. yeah. Because I, I found some money in Italy from the government for doing something. That's why that's quite difficult to get in this part of story. And then I published something, so that's, uh, that's what I did. But, but generally, I generally, there are not this kind of uh, materials. Not that much, but there is people that uh, is interested in just that. Uh, some years ago, I, I approached uh, some, in some German universities. There was uh, a uh, um, uh, lecturer who was uh, who had, uh, she had uh, prepared uh, internet-based materials, uh, which goes in this direction uh, as others were asking. So I, I, I may check uh, whether this exists uh, anymore more or is still there. So some, something I have in, in, my, uh, in my mind is there is something in, in Germany. How to express um, mathematical phenomena in, in sound, uh, this was one uh, approach she did, and, but maybe we are looking the other way around. How to approach musical ph phenomena in, into mathematical terms, or how we approach ma uh, mathematical phenomena and uh, exemplify them uh, in, in, into uh, sound. This, I, in the moment, I, I see these these both uh, viewpoints. But the first uh, thing is you, you want to make a book, right? So the visual side is the first one. You need a designer for that. Uh, what do we need? <laughs> <laughs> what what do you mean? I I don't I mean, if you wanted to make a, if if you made this uh, a branch. Of for learning, uh, you need to make like books or, or like this wiki pages. They they have like constant stream of uh, flow, overflow of information. And uh, if uh, someone as a student uh, uh, sees this, uh, it's, it's like too much. And uh, if, if you have designers like uh, visual. Uh, who are really good at uh, simplifying things visually, making like uh, archetypes that are useful for composing. And it, it would uh, make things uh, faster. I think uh, we don't know as much uh, about uh, visual design as uh, actual designers. I agree, yeah. Of course, uh, and, uh, of course. Aspect we have to take uh, care of. The visual aspect, of course, is important. Uh, for instance, uh, for instance, I felt uh, if I have this uh, copy book, and I have seen it, and I forgot to bring the original book from uh, Tallinn. I planted to do, but of course, then the format is different. And this feels really different to uh, to read this material and then uh, the original book. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, yeah. exactly, uh, the, it's uh, exactly uh, maybe it is, uh, it's resized. Uh, Uh, 
uh, graphics which yeah. uh, show things happening in real time. Yeah, uh, sometimes so if it's useful. It's, uh, if it's useful, yeah. yeah. So yeah. But, but thinking of, of students or even pupils' experiences uh, makes more sense to, uh, to, to approach uh, these things. Of course, things. Uh, things they are happening in time over time. Yes. And sometimes it's uh, useful to uh, you <coughs> have this uh, animation about uh, waves traveling and whatever, how, how it looks. Yeah, this this by the way something. Uh, uh, one student of Mark Langfeller, she is at the moment. Uh, she has similar ideas, which are in the moment going in the same direction, like 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 we are thinking. I, I just communicate to her with her. Maybe she becomes uh, my my supervisor, my host supervisor. So so maybe it's, uh, if if there is some student doing a master thesis uh, developing such things. Uh, uh, then this would this would bring us uh, also further hmm. in the context of of the digital technology uh, uh, institute uh, together with some university. Then then, then we, we we can get from there some support. Not that support we uh, seek for with the new uh, application uh, of for the high school uh, uh, sorry university uh, teaching books, but. Uh, uh, but uh, to do it on a, from a little more uh, background way, but to still arrive somewhere, which is useful for us. Yes, but I would still return <laughs> <laughs> to this main topic that before we do all this, we still have to agree uh, what it is. Yeah. One thing, I mean, if we want to just cover what is done in the world, and this is a huge topic, then a kind of encyclopedic work, yes, and put in the internet so that oh, people can, can see it. This is entirely one thing. Or do we want to do a kind of workbook for, let's say, elementary school pupils or, or for gymnasium, or rather for composers, uh, in academies. At least yeah. this is entirely another thing. Or do we want to make a collection of essays, see what our potential is, our authors, others, everybody is writing something, he's more at home. And then this collection of essays may be different, let's say, parts. First part is how the mathematics can be used in analysis, another part how mathematics can be used in composition, or third part how music can arise mathematical problems and so on. Kind of academic collection of essays. Yeah, These like are all machine. different things. But all is needed. All is needed. I, I, I agree. <laughs> By the way, who knows? I, I am saying that there are so many information, I mean, available. So, I think that everything can be done, but um, still first, at least a kind of idea, what we are aiming at, I mean, at least myself, I cannot do without it. I, I have to see what I'm doing. Of course, I can do just because of joy, or just like, just, I, I like doing that, of course. But, but I mean, if we start to develop a kind of project, then we should know what it is. Because, because if we want to make a kind of encyclopedic thing, then it needs one type of expertise. And one type of, I mean, just to collect the main fields and, and try to write something, I mean, based on, on, on these knowledge quite general, but uh, uh, which comprises this. Or we are just concentrating on more scholarly essays and, and make a collection of essays or something else. I mean, it needs different type of expertise, different types of people. Um, and last but not least, I mean, what do we need actually? I mean, why we are doing this? This is also, I mean, because our time is limited. I mean, all of us 
are extremely overloaded with, I mean, myself, I'm doing 15 things at the same time, which means that it's not just, okay, it's interesting, let's do that. Of course, I mean, we are doing what, what we're interested in, but uh, still, there should be a more kind, kind of concrete A. Why are you, we are doing this? And this hopefully tells us also in what form we are doing it. Uh, I mean, if we, if we you know, because now I, I, I don't know exactly. I mean, for me, it's quite unclear. I mean, if we do something like that, then why we do so? What, because it seems that, un, I mean, if I've heard others, it seems to me that that um, what is the concern of Andros is uh, actually the education, <coughs> and not so much the education in the conservatory and the music academies, but rather what what is happening in school. Well, actually, oh, in this moment, but uh, yes. it's, it's only yes, concretical. Yes. Yeah, con uh. So, uh, especially mm -hmm. music education, yes. Mm -hmm. So, because mostly it's about singing and, and maybe participating in our song festivals, uh, a bit of music history and that's it, I mean, uh, and, uh, but the music can be something quite different from that perspective. And then I, I, of course, I see that, that maybe mathematics is one way to raise interest in music and musical problems, so that music, there are also problems, it's not just singing or doing kind of. Yeah, it's, it's very practical. Yeah, of, yeah. of course, okay. uh, it's very so practical because in in uh, it's, it's a very specific no, book. No, I mean, no. if we aim at something like that, then this is very specific no. thing, which excludes most of the topics we have discussed today. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, only, only that that I comment only, uh, for example, this uh, tool for musical composition. What Imran actually make in in uh, with students. It's absolutely different you know, dynamics in these uh, lessons. You, you can see also, I, I have made some, this kind of video, uh, video uh, documentation from this uh, process now, now, from last year actually. And uh, normally in music, uh, normal music classes, some three till five girls are participating. And all other make some other other things, mm -hmm. uh, other mathematics or whatever. But now, uh, in in some first uh, first of lessons, actually, I, I can show something. But okay, it's, it's not. We, we don't have time. No time. In fact, explained. Uh, we made the same uh, this uh, graphical score. This uh, skits, yeah, score skits. We have uh, first this kind. And explained that okay, you, you put this kind of sign it means for example this and then you put this side it is this and then when you put something this it is and explained all all words in some some kind of very um, so slipping a little and, and in the, then now we make this and who was activated boys absolutely different group of of students who, who are normally uh, 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 active in, in music, music class. So, so uh, maybe this way of uh, way approach to music is absolutely different. So it uh, it also activate different uh, different uh, students. Yes. And maybe it is uh, quite uh, the same problem I see in Estonian music. It is uh, I I don't know. For other other countries, but in Estonian music, uh, we don't have not enough this knowledge actually. No, this knowledge how constructive actually consists music, and um, and I, I see this as problem. Maybe it is not problem because because uh, when we talk only about music as some aesthetical, no, all all the time we talk uh, about music as some beautiful thing, okay, very nice, but, uh, but when we talk about music also about uh, as some constructive thing, we need some tools for this, and often these tools, maybe it's the best tool, can be some mathematical tool.
No, it's yeah. very easy or very simple, but it, it is actually the same. The same thing, maybe from a musical point of view and also from a mathematical point of view, when to explain sign rule, some in, 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 integers. In, uh, integers, yeah, yeah. 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 It, is, it is also maybe number series. Number series. Number series. Yeah. It, it would be good to explain through some musical. Musical uh, examples. examples, yeah. Yes. Yes, this is the topic yeah. of how this kind of thinking can actually. No. Uh, so to begin from very simple things, not uh, may, maybe uh, may, yeah. maybe not not to make too much. Uh, I don't know too much, mm -hmm. no. but uh, to to start from very very simply, yes. simple simple things. Yeah. But still knowing what you are. No, of course, of doing. course. Yeah. Yeah. Be simple as well, of course. No. <laughs> Doesn't have to be very sophisticated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, leaving the space open for creativity uh, to mm -hmm. present these simple examples from both sides, and then, uh, as we already have said here, then to, to open it up. Uh, now you have see this as an example and uh, do something about it. Don't don't be bothered uh, by by some. Uh, some uh, too strict rules, or so just uh, take it as an inspiration. And this is also uh, pedagogical. First, we learn the simple structure to understand it and what it produces, etc., and then, then open it. Uh, otherwise, we, we get again stuck, stuck into some to orthodox uh, thinking and orthodox. we will uh, kill, kill creativity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. But I think we have uh, just unveiled a lot of uh, interesting thoughts and uh, ideas, and of course, uh, uh, it's uh, maybe to less time for now to 100% uh, specify what uh, are the output of uh, the book. Of course, we can say that, of course, we, we are sure that we don't want to do something and of any like. So, uh, because even uh, if you think it should be in Estonian and uh, we should uh, address uh, to, um, uh, to our recipients and of course uh, on that level if, uh, that you are interested in the encyclopedic uh, way, way and to gather information all what you want to of course then on that level and not on that level of course uh, normally or even students uh, have learned much English uh, so that they can uh, read, uh, for instance, the Xenomonic Wiki uh, in English or original, and uh, so there's no sense to translate uh, simply things uh, into Estonian. Some things I, I think would be good to yeah, translate, but, uh, not, uh, but uh, of course, not all. Not a whole very specific thing. Uh, impossible. Yeah, whole very specific thing. We are sitting three years, and of course the uh, Wiki is every time changing. And, uh, I, uh, but uh, but of course uh, just as with uh, and just an example and of course this is not the whole microtonality is not the only topic uh, related with music but uh, but generally of course I, I uh, my choice was that of course this uh, this thing was uh, deal with acoustics and uh, physics and I think uh, I see that this uh, that is already covered by uh, by the sound synthesis books and. Uh, and so uh, why we have to uh, repeat the same thing and name it mathematics, that's what my critics of, the, uh, of, of these uh, chapters in the book. Yeah, so, but here... Is, is there some kind of generalized, generalized uh, uh, notation system for this kind of music? Uh, yes, this is a, big, a good question. Okay, I don't, I'm, not, uh, I'm not, uh, not so much prepared to do the whole... <laughs> Whole uh, whole uh, topics of uh, microtonal music. What is a lecture? What I do at the whole semester? But of course, there are the, there are, uh, with the notation. There is of course there are are notations uh, sort uh, sort for that, uh, and uh, but uh, not uh, not uh, no system is uh, so uh, so good uh, standardized that we can see that is something uh, finished. Maybe the maybe for just the intonation it's a little bit more easier because there is this um, uh, it seems to be this Helmholtz Ellis uh, notation what is, uh, uh, expresses exactly the um, 
the uh, ratios of um, of how an interval or how the pitch is uh, constructed. But of course, it is hard to uh, hard to read, and uh, and so or like uh, this is uh, all these uh, pieces of Mark Zappert, uh, it is a notation uh, style uh, notated, and uh, of course there are the interprets uh, have to learn a lot. And there was a workshop in Helsinki, a cello uh, player was explaining how he trained that, and it was really very interesting how he trained to listen to different, and he had uh, also tools like uh, listen to the overtones or listen to the different tones for to catch exactly an interval, uh, what um, what is not uh, not uh, so familiar, of course, this uh, seven by four and eleven by eight was uh, some some intervals they are easier and um, some intervals they are really really tricky to do. Uh, completely other thing is uh, is of course for this nineteen uh, edo edo how to notate it. Uh, there is a system, this is a so-called uh, sakital uh, notation, so this has arrows and uh, and you get uh, just uh, this uh, like um, uh, like sharps for 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 every uh, for every number of uh, of uh, pitches in the octave. There is uh, some, but this is uh, it uh, it evolves enorm enormously uh, complicated and uh, and so. Uh, who will learn that? This, of course, there are, of course, uh, the real problems. And of course, as I uh, have a lot used um, so-called uh, transcriptions, so that if we have, an, for instance, my uh, uh, my um, uh, the recorder I was cut and uh, different holes, and so then there are written. Nearly pitches what uh, seems like uh, like an uh, interpret has to do it, uh, so that is like more like in history there was tabula tabulature notation or even you know it from uh, even today something uh, guitar notation is with six lines for every for for every string and then you put a number of what um, um, what position of the um, fret you have to. Do and uh, things, uh, things like like that. Of course, they uh, they uh, in this uh, transcription they of course uh, lead sometimes to uh, misunderstanding. One and the same interval looks different in different uh, registers. So 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 of course uh, uh, there are problems and compromises. But I think for me there there are challenges. How maybe we can try? How we can we can make strict together that. And uh, of course, every compromise is a compromise, and uh, so uh, the, the world is uh, full of compromise, uh, compromises. And, uh, but uh, we have to try, try it, and, uh, and, and so, um, so I, I, I think so certainly. But I think our time is over, and uh, Andres. Uh, yes, and uh, today's concert. Thank you, Hans. Uh, today's concert is in. Uh, Culture Club Temple at seven o'clock. Yeah, at seven o'clock. And tomorrow we meet here at ten o'clock here in this place. And today we have more left than lectures. Unless you no more lectures. You will spontaneous. Spontaneous. I think uh, we can uh, so having contact now. And what does this concept is? Tempel. See on ühes on aga ka teem ja täna, see on sama siit täna, et meil edasi, et on see ühes on aga seal endine postimaja. Endise postimaja oleks on, et ma olen selle, et ta alati nagu L täht ja siis see L täht kube on sisse mine. Sinna üles, üles, kõige kõrgema. Ma olen looka, siis hoogi sisse. Ma olen tegelikult ma ootan seda. What was the exact address maybe? Academia Street 7. Academia Street 7. And from the from the back side, from the courtyard, is the entrance.
Giovanni, you are first. Yeah? We actually we, we can uh, sì, sì, sì. go here uh, half past nine. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 